Welcome to Statics. Example. Method of sections. In this example, we have a truss consisting of nine members. It is supported by a pin support at A and a rocker support at D. Two forces are applied as shown, with their magnitudes given. We will find the forces in members GE, BE, and BC. Because we only need three member forces, we will use the method of sections. It will be much less work than the method of joints. Our first step is to draw a free body diagram of the full truss. Here it is. I have replaced the supports with support reaction forces. Next, we will solve for the support reactions using three equilibrium equations. Summing forces to zero in the x direction, we see that reaction AX is 400 newtons, pointing to the left. Summing moments to zero about point A, we get that reaction dy is 900 newtons, pointing upward. And summing forces in the y direction to zero, we get that reaction ay is 300 newtons, pointing upward. I revise my free body diagram with the correct support reactions. The next step is to cut through the target members of our truss and draw a free body diagram of the cut section. We can slice all target members with a single cut. The section free body diagram for the left side looks like this. The section free body diagram for the right side looks like this. In both diagrams, I replace the cut members with member forces drawn in tension by default. Since the left side is slightly less complicated, I will work with it. I will apply the equations of equilibrium to solve for the three unknowns. If I sum moments to zero about point B, there will be only a single unknown in my equation, force GE. My equation has the 300 newton reaction force times its moment arm, 4 meters, acting in the negative direction based on the right hand rule. I also have force GE times its moment arm, 3 meters, in the negative direction, all equal to zero. Solving for force GE, I get negative 400 newtons, so member GE is in compression. If I sum moments to zero about point E, I will have force BC as the only unknown in my equation. The equation has the 300 newton reaction force times its moment arm, which is 8 meters from point E, acting in the negative direction. The 400 newton reaction force times its moment arm, 3 meters, also negative, and force BC times its moment arm, 3 meters, positive by our convention, all equal to zero. I get that force BC is positive 1200 newtons, so member BC is in tension. Last, I will sum forces to zero in the y direction to get force BE. I could also sum forces in the x direction to get it, but there will be more terms to deal with. We have the 300 newton reaction force plus the vertical component of force BE equal to zero. Force BE is negative 500 newtons, or 500 newtons in compression. And we have all three member forces.